tuples are a sequence of values separated by commas so, so tuples are basically just like list but the major difference is that tuples are immutable okay so let us define a tuple here so you can define a tuple by you know uh, just writing a sequence of values separated by commas okay so ex i'll execute this and uh, print okay so this is how the tuple looks so if you just check the value or the type of this variable so you can see that it is a tuple so although not necessary it is recommended to enclose the values in between the parentheses okay so it's not necessary but it is always recommended to you know enclose the values in between the parentheses so if we try um, so let let us try to understand why uh, tuples are immutable okay so let us try to you know uh, try to alter an element inside this tuple so we'll write something like tube 1 of uh, of 0 okay i just want to change the value of 1 to something like 250 okay so I'll, I'll try to execute this and you'll get a error such that tuple object does not support item assignment which means that tuples are immutable unlike list which are mutable okay so if you want to create a tuple with only one element so you can write something like tuple one equal to so it is mandatory to you know it is necessary to uh, it, it is it is required to have a, a comma okay if you want to declare a tuple with just one element okay it is mandatory to mention a comma after that okay so let us check the type of tuple okay so we can see that it is a tuple so what if we don't provide the comma so let's see what happens if we don't provide comma so I'll execute this and if we check the value it is not tuple anymore it's 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 an integer okay so that is why uh, it is uh, it required to have uh, write at least one comma if you want to declare a tuple with just one element So let's now try declaring uh, an empty tuple. Okay, just like list, we have two methods to declare an empty tuple. So you can also write opening and closing uh, parentheses. Okay, this is also a tuple, and you can also use the keyword tuple. Tuple one equal to tuple opening and closing parentheses so this will also create an empty tuple okay so just like lists tuples can also have items with different data types so here's an example so i'll say tip one equal to and in between the parentheses i'll write one and then maybe a, a character and then a floating point number and then you can also have a list inside the tuple and you can also have a tuple inside the tuple okay so you can have mixed items i mean have items with different data types inside of of a tuple now we can use the plus operator to concatenate two tuples okay so if i say so let's say for example i have tuple a and b and if i write plus c and d so if i execute so you it will return a new tuple with you no know, with concatenated uh, values so we can use star operator to replicate the items in a tuple 
so for example if i say i have a tuple here a b and c and if i say star 3 so the values inside this tuple is going to replicate three times so if i execute this you get a tuple with the replicated values a b c a b c and a b c which is basically three times so just like lists we can index the tuples okay so the indexing of tuples start from zero just like this so when i say when i when i declare a tuple a b c d and e okay so i have this tuple so the indexing of this tuple starts from zero so which means the index of a is equal to zero index of b is equal to one and so on and in the reverse way just like list the reverse way the indexing starts from minus one so the index of e is equal to minus one index of d is equal to minus two okay so let's try to index the first item which is a by writing tube one of zero so you can index the first item like this so if you want to index the last item you can say tube one of minus one it's going to return the last item if you want to get the last second item you can simply write tube one of minus two okay so we can also do slicing in tuple so what is slice slicing is basically about all about extracting a certain you no know, uh, extracting a certain piece of data from our tuples okay so let me just define the tuple again okay so now uh, i'll just say tube one of uh, zero is to three so this is going to return me the values a b and c okay so if i execute this you'll get the values a b and c the subset of this tuple so if you want to slice the entire tuple in reverse way you can write something like tuple of uh, is to is to minus one we have seen this in the list as well so you are able to slice the entire tuple in a reverse way okay so there's a built-in function in python called uh, div mod okay it's called d i v m o d it's a built-in function which uh, will return the quotient and remainder of two numbers uh, of, of the, when when the two numbers are divided and the return type is of tuple okay so when i say when i pass two numbers here okay um i'll say maybe five and two so what is five divided by two this is basically 2.5 but if, if you want to express in terms of quotient and remainder the quotient is two and the remainder is one okay so when you use this div mod built-in function it's going to return a tuple of quotient and remainder when these two numbers 5 and 2 are divided so when i when i execute this you get this quotient and remainder so this data type is again a tuple okay. again um, in python we can write a function which can take variable number of arguments which means it's, it can take take more than one or any number of arguments as input so the variable name starts with a star let me try to define a function here so i'll write a function def uh, i'll say i'll call it as where number function and it's going to accept variable number of arguments what does that mean it means basically means that uh, it can ac accept one or more than one uh, number of inputs okay it's not fixed you can give uh, five variables or ten it ever uh, five inputs ten in inputs or any number of inputs that you want to pass to this function okay so now i will simply say print and and uh, when you declare this variable as a, as a variable number arguments variable so it's basically a tuple again here so now i'll just print the arcs and or the, or the input and then also the type of the variable okay 
so let me call this function and pass some values so as i told you you can pass as many number of parameters you want to this function because it accepts variable number of parameters so i'll pass 1 2 3 a and uh, b okay so if i execute this you can see that it is of the type tuple okay so there are many built in functions in 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 python which which you know which accepts this variable number of uh, parameters so one example is this one max function so when in max function you can pass as many number of number as many number of elements you want and it will basically return you the maximum element so the number that the this this particular number that you are passing is basically a tuple okay so there's one more built in function called um, zip or zip okay so this zip function also returns tuples so before that let's try to understand what the zip function does okay so let's say we have uh, two uh, list two sequences for example sequences can be anything right list or even even strings are sequences so i'll declare two sequences or i'll declare two lists list one equal to one two three and uh, list two equal to a b and c okay so i have two lists here so what zip function is going to do is it is go it will take one item from each of these list and packs them together into a tuple let me try to you know uh, execute this uh, using this zip function and show you what what I, what i'm trying to say here so i'll say for i in i'm i'm going to use this zip function so for this zip function i'm going to pass the both the lists list one and list two and i'll simply say print i so when i execute this so here is what i was trying to say here it takes the first element of first list and first element of second list and it packs them together and in, in into a tuple so you basically have three tuples inside this zip okay so this is what it uh, returns the, the, the zip uh, built-in function returns so if you want to convert a list into tuple you can do so using this tuple keyboard okay I'll say tuple of uh, I'll pass a list here one two and three so it's going to convert this list into tuple so let me tuples basically have uh, you know the tuples do not have many functions like lists but they have only two functions which are index and counts so let me try to show you so when i declare this tuple a b and c so when i say tuple dot tuple one dot so you can see right it has only two uh, functions on top of it so the index function is is can be used to find the index of a certain item so when i say index of uh, b we know that the index of b is equal to 1 so that that is what it's going to return so the what does count do so let's say for example i have uh, a and i want to find the number of times a is appearing in my tuple so you can basically use the count function so it's going to return 2 okay so so, so that's about uh, you know the built in functions in in, in tuple